Hi, this is part three of the Getting Started with the SIG 200 series. This session is entitled SLT Logic. The goal today is to show how to write logic using the logic editor functionality that is built into the SIG 200 out of the box. This functionality will allow the user the option of programming and saving some basic logic that will operate on inputs from a variety of SIG IO-Link capable sensors. Specifically, today we will be looking at using a WTT4 power prox and the distance output value that it provides over IO link. Here you can see the SIG 200 that we're going to configure. Here is the uh, power input. The device is powered up. On port 1 we have connected the SLT stack light and on port 2 we have the power prox. So there's the stack light and the power prox in the background there. And that power prox, you can see, is focused on a box. What we'll do is develop some basic fundamental logic that will take the value of the distance given by the power prox into the SIG 200 and then set up the logic that will interpret that and allow us to turn on light segments that correspond to the distance of the box away from the sensor. Part numbers involved include the SIG 200, which is Ethernet version. That is part number 1102605. The power prox we're going to be using is 1097190 and the stack light, the SLT, part number 6075938. I give you those part numbers so you can go on the website and take a look at those if you'd like at sickusa.com. So let's get started. Since this is an Ethernet unit, we also have an Ethernet connection. And my IP address here, I know, is 192.168.0.11. If you haven't already configured your Ethernet address and need to do that, please review the earlier videos of this series. This is the SLT stack light that we'll be using. And again, that part number is 6075938. I have it laying down here horizontally in order to better demonstrate the final functions that we will be programming into the SIG. You can see the different light elements illuminating in direct relationship to the movement of the plastic case the power prox is focused on. As I move farther away, the elements farther up on the stack light body illuminate. Likewise, as I move the plastic case closer to the power prox, and as the distance value decreases, the stack light elements turn off in sequence. So that is the final product. In the next video, we'll see how to implement this logic using the logic editor of the SIG 200. See you then.